G'day guys, welcome back. Well, I'm down at the pond again this afternoon. I thought I'd bring out the W All Toys W912 out. And uh, I haven't brought this out for a while. And uh, this is a uh, 390 brush boat. Okay, so it's got a 390 brush motor. It comes with a lithium ion pack, 18650 uh, two cell. And today I thought for the very first time, I haven't ran a speed run on one of my RC boats. I've got the GPS speed reader under there. I'm going to see what speed this one can do. Now, on the box and on the listing, I think they claim around 30 to 35 kilometres an hour. So we'll see what sort of speeds it can actually get uh, on the water here. I've also got a LiPo with me, so I might try a LiPo out quickly after I try the stock battery out. So let's uh, give it a go. I've got the app ready set up. Okay, it's on zero. So it'll be fun to try out a speed run on a boat for a change. Never done it before, so let's give it a go up here and see what it can actually do. It's bound, yep. Now this boat is uh, around the $50 mark price range. see exactly what it can do definitely need some trimming so this is not a bad boat this one like I said I haven't taken it out for quite a while So let's bring it back here. See what sort of speeds it actually got on the lithium ion pack. Be rather interesting actually. Okay, get closer to the boat. It's saying read, uh, four kilometers an hour, that's not right. Have to try that again guys. Okay, give it a go again. seems like a top speed so just up and down one more time see I'm not too sure of the price of this one now uh, but it was 45 bucks I think when I initially reviewed it 45 US that is I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of videos of people actually running 3S on these. Now I'm not going to run 3S today, but I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where guys are running 3S on the stock electronics. So I've got 22 k's an hour guys on the uh, lithium ion pack. So it does fall short of the 30 or 35 k's. I don't actually remember. I'm going to have to look what they claimed on the box. But it's either 30 or 35 k's an hour. So I'm going to quickly put a LiPo in and we'll see what it can do on a LiPo. See if that adds a, maybe a couple of Ks uh, more. So this is a stock battery I just used, a 1500 milliamp hour 13650 lithium ion. And now I've got this, uh, it's a 1200 milliamp hour 2S battery, 2S LiPo. It's out of um, the DRC, one of the DRC trucks. I think it was an 8 inch scale truck. It's got the same mini Tamiya connector. All right, so let's put it back in the water here. Zero. Let's see if that makes any difference. Start. Alright, this is on the LiPo. Might gain a, a kilometre maybe, or two. 
looks pretty much the same sort of speed, doesn't it? I just thought I'll try it out. Been wanting to speed run a boat for a while. Well, she's skipping. <laughs> Some of the smaller boats are not big enough to put a GPS reader in them, but this one is. This is perfect size. Okay, let's bring it in. See what it got on the 2S LiPo. <laughs> one kilometre. So got one kilometre more, 23 k's an hour, so just like the RC cars guys, the, uh, they exaggerate on the boats as well, alright, so gained one kilometre with the LiPo, now like I said, uh, I think I've seen some people uh, run these on 3S, stock standard, yeah doing that on these brushed electronics I'm not too sure how you'd go as far as longevity before it burned out, you know, so yeah, just thought I'd do a quick speed run today. I'm going to just take it out for a bit more of a spin and uh, then I'll bring it in. Okay, take for a bit more of a spin. Just took the GPS reader out of it. It's not a bad boat. I mean, these are relatively cheap. Under 50 US, or well, they were. I don't know about now. So for that price, these are pretty much a bargain because it's got pretty decent speed for a brushed RC boat. 390 motor. Definitely a good one to uh, put a brushless system on. Maybe a 2845 motor. This one turns pretty sharply. Look at that, full lock. Turns on a dime. Look at that, very tight circles. Which is not typical of a boat this size. You expect a really tiny boat to do really tight circles like this. Usually these larger ones uh, need a bit of space. I'll go down there and bring it back. Just thought I'll take it for a bit of a spin while I'm out here now, rather than just doing a speed run. So the rooster tail's come out of this thing. So I'll link some of my previous videos on this one if you want to check them out. I reviewed this uh, 18 months or nearly close to two years ago. I've made a couple of videos on it, but I haven't taken it out for quite a while. Alright guys, I'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed this video, just a quick speed run. My first speed run with a boat, so I just wanted to, I was pretty curious to see what this one would get. I might do some more speed runs uh, with some of my other boats soon and see what they will get, you know, compared to what's on the box. So this one got 22 kilometers an hour on the stock lithium ion pack and an extra kilometer an hour with the uh, 2S LiPo that's in it now. So thanks very much for watching guys. If you're new to the channel, Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, I might leave a link to this one below if you're interested. You can check it out, check out the specs. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy your day. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye for now.